Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to be going through my reading statistics for 2020 as well as uh, my reading goals for 2021. I realized I hadn't made a video or had made any dedicated time in a video to talk about any goals that I had made for 2021 and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to talk about those. Anyway, let's get started. So if I'm looking at my looking down, that means I'm just looking at my phone. I've got everything in a Notion um, spreadsheet, so I'm going to be looking at that. I I don't know. I'm just starting to sound like I am a fan girl for uh, Notion. It is the best thing ever. Like it's just nice. Like especially now that I have it on my phone, it's portable. It's nice. It's simple. It just does everything, and it's just really easy to read. I don't know. I'm not sponsored, but. Still, I'm going to be a fangirl for Notion for now on, just letting you guys know. <clears throat> anyway, so I've also got graphs, so I'll put them up somewhere in this video. I don't know where I'll put them, but we'll, I'll figure out a spot. I read 58 books last month. Well, not last month, last year. That was a really good accomplishment for me, and my best month was October with 9 books in total. So that was a really good thing. It also includes the two books I DNF'd. I included them because they are still books that I read, even though I didn't finish them completely. I also added them into the um, pages, like read as well, but only the pages I had read, not the whole book. So just if you need any clarification on that and how I see my DNFs. I see. So the um, majority of books I read were between 300 and 400 pages. So I did my statistics like you know, if it's between 0 and 100, 101 to 200, 201 to 300, that's like how I was doing it. So, yeah, so the majority of them were from 301 to 400. So that was, it's still pretty good, like decent sized novels, like normal sized novels mainly. And the second most read were 200 to 300, and I think that was mainly because I read the series of uh, Narnia, which are quite small novels as well. And also, I also read the um, Tomorrow series, which are also between two to three hundred pages. So that is why they it hiked up there with along with normal novels, normal novel sizes. I went on to Goodreads and see what statistics they gave me. So the biggest book I read in uh, 2020 was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, this is because I don't with Game of Thrones, like as you would have seen in my video on Tuesday, I didn't classify it as my biggest book because I don't classify the appendix as pages I have read. Goodreads might because it is a part of the book but I do not as I am not reading, actively reading those pages so I don't classify them as pages I read so it takes the book down to about 700 and something pages so yeah so Harry Potter and the World of Fix was the biggest book and Paper Girls was the smallest book at 128 pages. Each volume is about that much and I think the last volume is about 144. The majority of books I read uh, were fantasy with, I read quite a few fantasy but I can't remember how many, it's like 24 or something like that. And I also read quite a few sci-fis, contemporary and romance novels. They were my main picks, like I read a couple, like one or two, thriller, mystery, yeah, like I and non oh, did I read non-fiction? Yes, I did read non-fiction last year, so I only read like one book from like each of those character categories, so that's alright. But I did read a few different things, which was which is pretty good, even though fantasy is my main like kind of thing. The most like in terms of like audience target audience that the books meant to reach, I read the most middle grade, and that's also because I read a lot of like the I read all of Harry Potter, I read all of Narnia, I yeah, and I read all of Nevermore, and yeah, so I read a lot of middle grade children's books, and also I participated in the Leverfond, so that was also why I got quite a few middle grades, and then following that I read a lot of young adult, which, yeah, which you could see from the Tomorrow series and other things like that. Uh, the majority of books I read were four star reads. I read 27 books that were four star reads for me and 14 books were five stars. So that's still pretty good and 11 were 
11 books with three stars so I roughly did enjoy the majority of the books I had read last year and I'm happy with that hopefully the it continues on like I feel like I'm in a bit of a good rhythm at the moment I'm reading Addie LaRue and I'm really really like excited I think it's going to be a five star but I don't know yet but if it's absolutely wonderful and I feel like it's going to kickstart the rest of my year for me. So uh, just um, something else like I was keeping track of because other people do um, is that the author gender is like I know it's a bit arbitrary but it's just like something that I you know it's something to keep track of to see if you're reading more female more male or you're leading towards more male authors or more female authors like you just like I'm just curious out of that. So I read pretty much like straight in the mid middle like I read the equal amount of female and male book male author written books last year which was pretty good I can't complain and I also read uh, one from non a non-binary author and one book from both male and female which was Illuminate. Another thing I was keeping track of is when the books were published so I read the major the majority of books I read were published in the 2010s era so that was so the majority of the books I read were quite recent, though I did read a book, quite a few books from the 90s as well as the noughties, and I did read the seven books from Narnia, so, so seven books from the 50s, and also one book in the 20s, which was The Great Gatsby, so yeah, so it's a good mix of um, year publishing and stuff like that, so also I kept track of my book ownership, so which books I was reading that I owned versus what my partner Orange versus what I have borrowed slash read through NetGalley. The majority of books I read were my own, which is good. And then I did read quite a few from my partner, and I did read a couple borrowed. I read two from NetGalley. I don't think I'll be reading any more books from NetGalley, um, just because of the whole security scare. But at the same time, I'm not a huge fan of reading on my phone or through tablets, so that's just something that I've got to... But I will try and use the library more often when reading books especially when I'm doing challenges or different things like that so I'm not always purchasing books when I'm willing to complete challenges. So with Book Origin I was keeping track of this because I was curious as to see where all my books were coming from like I mainly focused on where the authors are located not where the books were located because that would have been a bit tricky in some circumstances. So the majority of books came from the United States that would be no brainer that would but I did also read quite a few books from United Kingdom as well as Australia which I was actually quite surprised that I read so many Australian books last year yeah I wouldn't have expected that I would have but I read two books from Ireland that was Skullduggery and as well as Artemis Fowl like I didn't even realize both of those books were from Ir like from authors that live in Ireland and I also had one book from Sweden which I unfortunately dnf but I really want to get into it because I've heard it's really funny when to get into it but I think it's just something that I've got to get used to in terms of writing style. Another thing like this was really hard to keep track of but where books were published like the publishing houses like how many books I was reading from each publishing house because a lot of the books I read were from individual like they never came back in terms of like what I read like uh, it's really hard to explain. So like I only read one book from, for instance, like um, Grand Central Publishing, and that's the publishing house that Nicholas Sparks uses. And I only read one of his books, so so like I only read a lot of one book from each um, publishing house. So yeah. Anyway, the biggest um, publishing house that I read from was Harper and Collins, Harper Collins Publishing House. So that included Narnia, there was a couple of one-off books in there that were from the United Kingdom involved in that one as well. So yeah, it was actually a good balance of books that I had. Well, like, a, yeah. And I also had Bloomsbury, which was Harry Potter as well, as well as Pan Macmillan Publishing, which is Australian, and that's for Now Tomorrow series. Okay, so average pages I read, oh, I do have a number of how many pages I read, but I don't know where that went to, but I read like quite a few book, quite a few pages. I think it was about 21,000 pages I read. I'll put the exact number on the screen, but um, my best month was August. I read about 3,200 
pages in that month so that was a really good month for me and like because I started not started taking reading more seriously but I was getting more into books in around May so my pay my book numbers were going quite up in terms of what I was reading so that was really yeah it was a really interesting year like in terms of my reading and I'm hoping that this year I can get a bigger scope of my reading choices and also like what um, books I enjoy and you know, trying to venture around to different genres and different authors and just different everything. I just want to explore different things and enjoy reading. So I updated um, my Goodreads goal for this year. So my goal for this year is 60 books. So I feel like that is well achievable as I only read 58 books last year and I only was reading about 8 books a month from May, June, July. So I feel like that I could read probably maybe close I don't think I'd read a hundred but that'd be really cool if I could but we'll see how it goes but that is the um that is when my goal is to get 60 books and if I really wanted to I could just read a lot of manga or something like that to build it up but I don't know I'll see about that one anyway um so 60 books is the goal for this year I don't really have any other goals other than to read books that I want to read and will enjoy rather than trying to force books onto myself that I may not, may or may not want to read. So I don't really have any other reading goals, just like read 60 books and enjoy it really. Like that's, you know, keep track of when I'm reading. Like, um, I do have like some YouTube goals. So for instance, I would love to get to about 50 subscribers this year. That would be really, really cool. Um, I want to try and change up like my content like you know do more fun things like and you know get more into using editing software learn how to use it maybe get a better editing software in the middle of the year because my subscription subscription will be up and get something a little bit better and get something that will be more not suited to me but maybe more user friendly and maybe something that I will enjoy using and can get better content out for you guys that'd be really cool yeah I I really want to engage more this year like I you know I just I'm usually like on Twitter or like Instagram just liking I don't usually comment and I really want to start doing that because I know when I've commented in the past like I get a massive boost and I really want to start doing that so hopefully I can be a little bit more engaged in with like audience as well as other booktubers because everyone seems really nice I'm just really scared <laughs> anyway uh, so that would be my video for today I hope you enjoyed uh, give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe comment uh, what should you comment um, what are you looking forward to 2021 in terms of your reading like what are you more excited most excited about like hitting your goal or like you know reading a, f a book that you've always wanted to read like tell me down below what you are most excited about for 2021 anyway that's it for me and i will see you guys next time bye